Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today we'll be discussing about MuleSoft. So MuleSoft is one of the, is a leading integration platform that enables business to connect to various application data sources and system across cloud and on-prem environments. Earlier, it was back in 2018, it was acquired by Salesforce and currently it's now part of Salesforce Integration Cloud. MuleSoft is also a flagship product. The AnyPoint platform provides tools for API design, testing, management, as well as integration services. It helps organization unlock data, automate workflows, and create connected experiences by integrating this separate systems using API-led connectivity approach. So basically, we design uh, most of the RESTful services here, uh, most of the RESTful APIs here, in order to integrate multiple applications. And it's a cloud-based uh, platform. So yeah, that's that's all about MuleSoft. So if I want to put it up in points, it's it's one of the integrating platform, which is right now mostly being used about, across by most of the companies. So now to discuss on how to install AnyPoint Studio. So the IDE that is provided by this particular application to build and deploy is uh, AnyPoint Studio. So today we'll be learning about how to do the installation of this uh, AnyPoint Studio from Salesforce website. And also like where exactly we deploy and we'll get account created on any point platform endpoint. So to install the AnyPoint Studio, AnyPoint Studio is a development environment for designing, building, and testing MuleSoft applications. So if you want to design any RESTful services, we have to use this particular platform. And the prereq for this particular platform is that you should have a GDK. JDK of eight or later version installed on your machine and at least four GB of RAM. So to start the installation, I will share one URL or else like if, if you go to any web browser and type you want to download like download AnyPoint Studio, the ID for building new soft application, the rest services, then you will find like this is the first link that will pop up from www.mulesoft.com. And if you click on that link, you'll be redirected to this specific page. And once you're redirected, if there's a specific product version that you want to install, then you have to select that particular version or else you can go with the latest and install the latest one. So product is what we are going to install for designing the REST APIs is AnyPoint Studio and Mule. And the version that I'll be selecting, if you want to select any previous version, then you can mention that or else we'll select the latest version that is there generally and where you want to install this particular uh, AnyPoint Studio. So I'm installing it in, the, in my Windows machine. And here you have to pass some information that is your name, your email address, your company, your title, phone number, industry and employee, and just click on download. It will get redirected to a page where it will mention, it will say that it has sent an email to your mail ID, the specified email ID, email address that you have specified. And you have to just go on and click over there and it will download the AnyPoint Studio file. So this is the kind of email that you'll be receiving from there. Thank you for choosing Studio, download the, your download link is below. So you click on this particular download link and it will download the studio uh, as a file, which is required. So let me show you how it will look like. Once it's uh, downloaded, you can go and what you can do, like how to start the installation is you should have the Java JDK 8 installed in your machine. Java development kit installed in your machine. So if it's not there, you can just go on to just type in JDK 8 and download and you'll be redirected to Oracle website. And from there, you, you it's easy to download the 
the JDK from there. Yeah. So once you download, you have to just double click and install the Java in your machine. And once it's installed, if you can go to uh, this PC and C drive and under program files, you'll find uh, the Java folder where you'll have the JDK installed. So for me, it is this location. Generally, if you install the JDK, it is this path only and unless you specify during the installation, you want to change the path. So this is the folder where my JDK is installed and all the files are present. So now what I've done once I have actually downloaded the AnyPoint Studio file, I've created a folder called MuleSoft under C directory, uh, under C drive, and this is the folder. So you generally have to unzip the folder. Once it's unzipped, it will show subfolders like this. And this is the exe file that needs to be executed. So you have to just double click on it. If you don't have administration access, you just right click and run it as admin. Before that, what needs to be done is you have to click on this particular file that is the configuration setting file, right click on it and open in Notepad++ or Notepad, whatever you have. And here the C path, like the Java directory that would be specified over here would be different at the time of the uh, downloading that particular zip file. So you have to specify your own directory location. Like I have done it, C program files, Java, JDK, bin and this is the execution file that will be executed during once i start installing the anypoint studio so this is the first step that needs to be done once you start start installing so post changing that configuration you have to just double click on this because i am the admin to this machine so i don't really have to like right click and run it as administration it will run as admin so yeah so we are here I've double clicked on it. The version that I'm installing is 7.21. And this is the subfolder where the workspace will be created. So it's under Rithik AnyPoint Studio. This is the location. Okay. So this is the user. And I want the folder to be created over here. Or I can specify it to a different location. So let me see if I can specify under C drive. So it's always better to specify under C drive and we'll create an AnyPoint Studio folder. Just rename it to AnyPoint Studio 721. You can just specify the AnyPoint Studio and select this folder. So this is where it, it's the workspace will be present. So generally it was giving a sample workspace name that was Studio Workspace. If it's, it doesn't get created, if there's a way to create a workspace for your own self, so it's completely fine. So I have clicked and everything is, it's an easy setup to be installed. And yeah, it says allow. You can allow this and continue to studio. Yeah, so if I go, I switch workspace to other. I just need to create one under this. I can create one as a studio workspace. You generally have to specify, like if you missed to specify like me, what I've done, then you can go back and like redo it. It will just relaunch the AnyPoint Studio. We'll give it a couple of minutes so that it loads. 